Okay, now let's talk about PCOS real quickly. Um, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome. I get really tired of social media, like, for ignorant men to post women's pictures and talk about their facial hair. Now, while every woman who has facial hair may not have PCOS, the women, most of the time, if they have, like, a lot of hair for a beard, mustache, they have it. I have PCOS, and... It's a living hell, and it has been since, what, I was 16? I remember being in high school in the band room. I'm never going to forget this because this is the first instance that anybody, and it was a male, pointed out my facial hair. First of all, I never realized that I had hair right here as a goatee. Didn't even know what the hell a goatee was. However, he pointed it out and said, you have hair underneath your lips. I was like, what? It caught, caught me off guard. I was taken aback because I was like, I knew I had, as you can see my little spots here. <laughs> this is from not pimples. Like, well, that is one pimple, but PCOS calls acne too. And here I am almost 40 and still get breakouts. But anyways, these spots here are from facial hair. From the constant plucking of it because shaving doesn't work hell and plucking I mean it just leaves scars but I don't want it on my face but anyways like I, I digress or should I say like I said um that was my first instance like I knew I had the facial hair right here actually it wasn't right there it was right here this because I remember actually the first time I ever felt the facial hair I was in man class because I was just sitting here and I was like what is this and I went home and saw like oh I had a couple strands there didn't really think nothing of it and I think later on I think because I was still a teenager I think when I was diagnosed with PCOS but it really aggravates me to sit there and see ignorant immature men posting about something that most women are insecure about and wish that they did not have do you think we want male traits like that well, can't speak for every woman but I definitely don't want a mustache I don't want a beard or the goatee and all that crap I don't want that I didn't ask for it I hate it and before anybody makes a comment about getting laser treatments and stuff I spent a whole lot of money thousands of dollars to get the crap removed but at least i did have some nice nurses explain to me because i have pcos and it's a hormonal imbalance that it was gonna grow back and it did last week i had my first treatment in maybe a couple years and the first time i think i ever had this done was 2015 well that part laser treatment because prior to that, when I was in my 20s, I had electrolysis. And that shit hurts. I'm going to tell you, that hurts. Laser therapy, it hurts too, but <laughs> that electrolysis is another beast. But, I mean, my mother and I have spent a lot of money on this. And it's just disheartening to see that. And it's hurtful for somebody to make fun of something that a woman has no control over. Like... I have no control over this stuff on. And like I said, I spent a lot of money to try to get rid of it. And guess what? No matter what I try, waxing, shaving, plucking, laser, electrolysis, it comes back. Why? Hormonal imbalance. I just don't like the ignorance. I really don't. People should really not speak on things that they know nothing about. Especially things that will hurt other people. And for you to take somebody's picture and post it on your Facebook. That this lady has facial hair. And laugh about it for other people to laugh about it in the comments. <sighs> that is sickening to me.